When Paldean Fates comes to Pokemon TCG Live on Thursday, January 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, a new Battle Pass will begin giving us two free decks, Ludia V-Star and Gardevoir EX. These are based on the World Championship decks from August, so the lists are a bit outdated, but still good. Ludia V-Star will be free on the Basic Battle Pass, with Gardevoir EX on the Premium Battle Pass, which should cost 600 crystals. I understand why Ludia and Gardevoir are the free decks, but it's still a little weird, right? Ludia was already given away for free with Silver Tempest, and Gardevoir was free with Starlet and Violet base set. It's also a bit annoying, because several of the arts in the Gardevoir deck are from Paldean Fates, so you won't get credits for having duplicates of the existing arts. Un unless my boomer brain is becoming forgetful, you do earn credits from duplicates on the premium Battle Pass decks, just not the basic Battle Pass decks. But my personal opinion aside, here's what you can expect from the free Ludia V-Star deck with Paldean Fates. Considering that it won the Senior Division at Worlds, it's good. Rather than running a single strike build, it focuses more on colorless Pokemon. This means you'll be using Slacking V, Weird Ear V, and Snorlax to hit hard, as they're all able to use any of the five different types of energy in the deck. Obviously, we now live in a world where Miraidon and Iron Hands are everywhere, making Ludia V-Star a huge liability. But if you ask nicely, maybe PDCGL won't match you against that deck. By reaching tier 16 of the Battle Pass, you gain one tier per day on average, you'll receive hyper rare versions of Ludia V and V-Star, Luminion, Snorlax, Drapion, Collapse Stadium, and Path to the Peak. And at tier 50, you'll earn a fourth copy of the hyper rare Ludia V. As for Gardevoir EX, it's the second place list from Tord Reklev, featuring one copy of Mirage Step Curlia to help with a rough start, two reversal energy, and four VIP pass. The Paldean Fates versions of cards will be Gardevoir EX, Iono, Research, Ultra Ball, Rare Candy, and Artisan, so you won't receive any credits for those if you already have four copies. By reaching tier 14 of the Premium Battle Pass, you'll unlock all of these hyper rare cards, including one Gardevoir EX from Paldean Fates and three Iono from Paldean Fates. And at tier 50 of the Battle Pass, you'll get a second copy of the hyper rare Gardevoir. But that's not all the news from the PDCGL world this week. For all 10 of you expanded players out there, Scoop Up Nut is finally getting banned outside of Japan. A date wasn't given for the ban on PDCGL, but it's February 9th physically, so January 25th digitally does seem likely. Scoop Up Nut is being banned mainly because it works on EX Pokemon, which means Iron Valiant EX offers up a much more powerful Donk deck when paired with Faramosa GX. I personally never really got it to work because Expanded has so many high HP Pokemon, but it makes sense to remove Scoop Up Net from the format regardless. The Scoop Up Net ban also makes the Paldean Fates patch notes that much more funnier. On Tuesday, January 23rd, PDCGL will be down for at least 8 hours of maintenance to prep for Paldean Fates on the 25th. What's hilarious is that Scoop Up Net was mentioned in the patch notes, so somebody spent time fixing a card that's being banned. The rest of the patch notes are fairly disappointing. There's no game log, which was teased in the end of year developer letter, and they don't tell us what the new card and gameplay item visuals are, but they are addressing Toad's Cruel again, which I guess wasn't fixed the first time around. They're finally fixing the ability to attack through confusion when copying another Pokemon's attack, and they're fixing an issue on mobile where launching in landscape caused PDCGL to break. And now it's time for your favorite part of the video where Pilot tells you not to buy the Premium Battle Pass Plus for 1800 crystals for the millionth time. It is an absolute waste of your hard earned crystals to gain those 15 levels immediately. Just buy the regular Premium Battle Pass for 600 crystals and naturally level it up. As always, save those crystals for the Shadow Rider deck in the shop from July 2022, which is the best way to credit farm. The Paldean Fates Battle Pass will be available for just under two months, as Temporal Forces, our first main set of 2024, will launch on Thursday, March 21st. That's also when we'll see Rotation removing all E-Block cards from Standard. What do you think of the Paldean Fates Battle Pass? And will you be watching the number one PDCGL streamer play Paldean Fates live on Twitch on Thursday? Let everyone know in the comments.